It's a gorgeous hotel, right guys? RC! Oh yes. my god! You guys have no idea who this is. This, well, I'm sure you do know who this is if you're in the Philippines, but you have no idea who this is to me. RC Baltazar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was the very first person to reach out to me when I was living in Canada about coming to Philippines. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you were at the time working for GMA Artist Center. Yeah. For many years now. He's partnered with Francis Liberal. Yes. The top Filipino designer yeah. in the country. So I'm surprised actually to see you here, RC. RC, you're all over the world. <laughs> Follow him, guys. Follow him on Instagram. I'm going to put his Instagram handle at the bottom here. Right. Nice to see you, Mike. Nice to see you too. I miss you. <laughs> I miss you too. We should have. Are you sure? Yeah. You're, you're the best. Where are you now? Are you. Let's. I just came from the washroom. Oh, okay. <laughs> what a place to run into someone. Oh man, I can't believe I ran into him. Sir R.C. Balthazar is really... <laughs> you know how there are those very few people who you know you owe a lot to? I really owe a lot to that guy. He really trained me how, you know, how to conduct myself in Philippine showbiz. He taught me the ropes. And again, he was the first to contact me while I was still living in Canada about coming to the Philippines, uh, signing with GMA and getting into show business here in Philippines. That's really nice. I, I'm really happy to have run into him and happy to have introduced him to you guys. My dear. We have a lot of friends here. Hello. Hi. That was really fun. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Yeah. RJ, you dance like my Tito. <laughs> Good morning. morning. Yes. Welcome to the Pinoy Boy Channel. So this morning we are having our lunch. breakfast. Lunch. Oh, our lunch now here at the canteen. Look at all of these lutong bahay, which means home cooking. I love the canteen. They cook it fresh that day and then they sell it and it's so cheap. See? 80 pesos for sisi. 60 pesos for mongo, which is like beans. Sisi is chopped pig face, but it tastes better than it sounds. Beef caldereta with rice. 80 pesos. Fish fillet. We got pork steak with rice. Binago ongang. Baboy with rice. I don't know what that is. I guess that's pork. Mmm, chicken barbecue. Yum, that's really good. We got longanisa here and tortang talon, which is 
eggplant omelette. So yummy. Eggplant and eggs go together. Coincidentally, a beef with mushroom. Okay, we got beans. And of course, pancit. Oh yeah. And then here we have toron, yes. And banana cube. Mmm, sarap. That's a dessert. Okay, time to choose. Here in the Carinderia, kids are free to come in and drink water. Hello, kids! Mmm, too big! We're buying whatever they want. We told the kids to choose whatever food they want and to take it home to their family. Huh? Apparently, RJ says they live there on the street. By the garbage? Yeah, no, they, they collect garbage. Because I always see these kids every, every night. They collect garbage? Who's that I see? Huh? Who's there? <laughs> Peekaboo! <laughs> Who's that? I... Ooh. Hello! What's your name? What's your name? Andrea. Andrea. Hi Andrea! For those of you who might be watching, who might have never been to a developing country or third world country um, like the Philippines, this is, a, it's really a big shocker. I know when I first moved here, seeing kids who live on the street or families who live on the street, that was really hard for me to kind of grasp because, you know, had it been North America, these kids would have been taken in. But here in the Philippines, homeless kids are, are everywhere. <laughs> and they're playing now. What are you doing? Hmm? Wow, you're so strong! But despite that, you see the Filipino spirit? They are still happy. And they make do with what they have. Now, from a North American perspective, I always was like, okay, so why don't the parents go get jobs, right? And then I realized from talking to people that the parents can't get work because they didn't go to school. And then I'm like, okay, so why didn't they go to school? So if they dropped out or they never went to school, it's their fault for being lazy, right? But then there are some, there's a whole other set of factors like school you gotta pay for. And some of these families are so poor they can't even pay for school. They can't pay for books, they can't pay for clothes even, or food. Like when you go to school, you have to bring baon, which is like your food, your packed food. And some people can't even afford that. So it's better that they just don't go to school and instead work. Even as young as like four years old, these kids are working, making money. So there's that. And then aside from that, imagine being a kid born in poverty like extreme poverty like being homeless and that's all you know you know what I mean you're not gonna be born and be a four-year-old and be like oh, okay I think it's time for me to go to school because I think that'll help me in the future get a job and all of this no they just learn from what they see around them and from their parents and from their friends and if your parents and all your family and all your friends they're also homeless and they're poor then you know you're gonna grow up poor and People won't give you opportunities if you're a homeless person. It's just, you're kind of almost sort of trapped in this poverty bubble. And I, I it, not to say that it's impossible to get out of poverty because, I mean, my family got out of poverty and look, they're in Canada now. Um, and, you know, families are working constantly to get out of poverty here in the Philippines. It's definitely possible to get out of it, but you can't blame them for being poor and you can't blame parents for not having jobs um, and being homeless it's just it's it, they're victims of their circumstance no we cannot buy you coke in this in this a healthy juice orange juice <laughs> they don't want orange juice see this is why rj has the apple dry project to um, inspire health among poor kids and poor families because they often buy unhealthy foods and drinks be because they're cheaper. Very good, very good. 
healthy drinks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next on the agenda is we are going to what's the area called? Gilmore. Gilmore. Oh, this place is so magical. If you need anything fixed, you go there. So basically, in this special bag here, I keep it very carefully packaged in this bag <laughs> is a very special gadget of mine and it's special to me because it is a webcam uh -huh, that I used that first got me into YouTube when I got this for Christmas from my cousin RJ in Toronto not this RJ but RJ in Toronto way back in 2010 I decided to start a YouTube channel which started my entire YouTubing career I suppose um, so my very first viral the Filipino accent tutorial this is your boy Mikey Bustos this video is an in-depth tutorial of the Filipino accent and to this day I still use this webcam because it's fantastic at shooting video um, especially macro so I use it for filming my aunt and I dropped it so I'm gonna have it repaired and they don't even make this model anymore it's discontinued but this is the best so it needs to be revived don't worry webcam you will become better I love you and we're here see the Gilmore IT Center This place is just full of things for gadgets, technology, CCTV cameras, pretty much everything. Laptops, mobiles, printers. And this is where we're going to repair my baby. Here RJ, be careful. Handle it with care. Wait! RJ! See, this is the services they do. Motherboard repair, LCD LED display panel repair, keyboard replacement. It's really great. And you know what? It's so cheap! If I had to do this in Canada, oh man, expensive. Alright! And just like that, a few minutes, and it is fixed. <laughs> okay, wh where's, where's the blanket? You have the blanket pala. <laughs> Place it inside carefully, carefully. I'm so happy this is fixed, guys. Because tomorrow the Ants Canada video has to go up. And I have to film like tonight and edit. Alright. Last stop is here in the barangay. <laughs> Just gonna buy some fruits. Here at the Palenque, they sell fresh fruits. For cheap and rice and pretty much anything you need. I'm craving for some bananas, some fresh bananas. Mm. Saba, mangoes, mm. coconut, and it continues way down there inside. There's meat. Here's some fish, tilapia. Hello, Pokuya. See, this is your typical Filipino barangay. We got a mobile store here, basketballs, to walis tambo, to toys, to tools, <laughs> there's everything. This is a variety shop on wheels. We have tabo, and now to buy things at the bakery. <laughs> yes, mm. look at all of these, tarts, pandesal, donut, pies, mm, this pie looks good, egg pie. Ensaymada. Mmm, ensaymada. That reminds me of my Lola. Spanish bread. Spanish bread. Pandecoco. Pandecoco. Yeah. RJ, you look like a pandecoco. You're a pandeloco. See guys, they bake it in there. They've got an oven. RJ, you used to live in a bakery, right? We own a bakery. RJ's family in Pangasinan owns a bakery. They used to do this too. I'm gonna try the egg pie. I'm eating plastic. Mmm. Mmm. So yummy. Very good. Quickly bake pandigogo. 
Hot pandikoko. Mm. You know what? There's nothing better than hot baked pies and cakes and breads from the Philippines. Mm. Okay, now RJ and I are gonna take you guys to my favorite, absolute favorite place in this whole barangay. I love coming here. I've been coming here for like two years to visit these monkeys. Hey, baby. Yes. Hey. Ow, 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 it hurts. You're hurting. Yes. Yes. It's so sad that these monkeys are kept in cages, but I've watched them grow for two or three years now. These monkeys have been here and they've gotten bigger and bigger. Here. Hey, monkey. Hey. Yes, hi. 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 Yes. Yes, monkey. Yes. Oh! Almost grabbed my camera. He smudged my camera. Your hands are dirty. These monkeys are very sneaky. They're very sneaky. Oh, and you know what? We have bananas for you. We have bananas for you. Where's the banana? So RJ and I come here and we feed them bananas. Here you go. Yes. Yes. Oh, you're so cute. Yep. Eat up. Eat up. Tito RJ and Tito Mikey are here. We have more for you. There you go. Yeah. Ah, not my finger. Here, here. Here, banana. Yes. Mm-hmm. Why are you grabbing my hand? Here's some more. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yup. Here. Oh, this one would rather just touch my hands. Oh, I'm sure you're craving for contact, little one. Oh. Oh! Oh! No! No! 